Today I'll be shopping at Whole Foods. Well, I'm not really shop. I'm just a check out, you know, walk through and give an idea how I go on with Whole Foods. For those of you who don't have Whole Foods in your neighborhood, just a give an idea. Quick idea, nothing big, nothing fancy. But I'm going to go say, because I'm hungry, I'm on the road, I'm hungry. I'm going to go say, I can find something to eat real quick. Yeah? And Whole Foods, as the name suggests, is a, is a Whole Foods market. Basically, that sounds full. Is a is a organic market with fresh fruits and you know um, natural fruits that them say. So make we go in the go to have one. This is the olive bar here in Whole Foods, and as you can see, a whole host of olives, obviously, and you know different what I'm call anti pasta stuff that you can use at home make a little dip and stuff olives this is olive spread this is roasted garlic right here and um, this is roasted uh, sun-dried rather sun-dried tomatoes that's peas over there most of this is pickled I wanted to show you this which I think is awesome because we use this in Jamaica this is broad bean yeah this is broad bean let me see and they just pickle it with some stuff with some ingredients onion and them something there. here we have um, beans again mixed with olives you know yeah whole foods is, is nice them have mushroom right there and this is artichoke over here you know um, this is some mix up right just so chopped olive they have a bunch of cheeses and I, I I think the thing about it is most of them something is like money thing you know honestly here's a whole host of cheeses right here and it's up to you if you wanna you know if you wanna eat healthy them say you come at Whole Foods you know but Aside, I don't want to show you everything. I just want to show you some of the stuff them that really applies. They have wine and them something there. I wanted to show you the salad bar. Um, fresh foods where you can get at Whole Foods. Over here, they have fresh sushi and see it's being prepared there. And you know that means everything here is fresh yeah sashimi sushi whatever if you like that type of stuff you have meats over here and as you can see different types of preparation now you just order them i think them these are sold by the weight right yes. by the way okay okay yeah you have salmon you know different style of salmon you have chicken satay which is chicken with a peanut sauce you have fish fingers right there so grilled chicken roast beef you have meatloaf chicken salad yeah but just I'll show you the, the line look at that grilled corn with lime butter watch out now patty Jamaican patty, curry, curry chicken patty, and beef patty. <laughs> and look at the price. Look at the price, people. Eat what patty they in a whole food. Jamaican patty in a whole food. I sell for four dollar one and three dollar one. Them sick in them head, don't they lick them head? But I tell no lie. But me like the vegetarian stuff. Them, you know. This is caprese salad with tomato and mozzarella cheese, zucchini green bean, peach salad, mango salad, mushroom burger, cauliflower, the cauliflower right there, sir. and the thing about it, what they do is that they make vegetarian food look very interesting, you know, they make vegetarian food look like something that you'd want to eat, you see what I'm saying, and I think it's, it's, it's worth trying, if you, if you like 
you know, vegetarian stuff. If you want to eat healthy, this is nice. The, the, the ancient grain. Sorry, my hand did not away. The ancient grain with kale and them things, the mix up. Yeah. Let me go over here so now. You have fresh salads, fresh sandwiches rather. Yeah. And, um, I mean, most of these sandwiches are not even meat based sandwiches. Most of them are vegeta vegetable. You know? You have some things up here, sir. So. Cheese and, yeah, different sandwiches. And the prices, I'm not telling a lie. The price them not that, you know? It's not that regular. Some of them prices are expensive. You have to know that. Right? But otherwise, it is good food, see? See, it's, it's freshly prepared every day. And yeah, you can get a big sandwich if you want. Look on this. Tuna with cranberry. Chicken salad. You have curry chicken salad. You have egg salad. You have vegetable quiche. Eggplant, caviar, yeah, something like hummus. You do fresh pizzas. If you want fresh pizza, you can get it. Bacon breakfast pizza, they must, they must get pizza sample. Yeah, may I try that sample? Yeah. yeah. You know, taste bad. Tastes good. Mm -hmm. I think it's, um, Bacon with egg and tomato and everything there. Now you can buy a slice of pizza. You have pastries over there. And here you have different um, salad bar. You can get different stuff that you can weigh out. And I mean, it's, it's so much to, to name, itemize them. But it's all good. I'm just circling this bar here for you to see the variety that you have at your disposal. You know, real good bed, roasted vegetables over here. You have your vinaigrettes and your different stuff here. You have eggs, beet salad, all the way down. Over here, you have your meats and your proteins. You know, something less I look like a color look. But I think a color look. Colored greens. Yeah, I know color look. So I know so them not that I forget a lot color look. They have chicken here, so. They have vegetable fried rice. Yeah, I can't explain all of them to you. They have okra salad over there, so. Okra salad that over there, so. This is some, oh, this is Indian food, chicken bri bri biryani. Chicken biryani, this is Indian food where they cook all, everything in one pot with the rice and everything. They have sweet planting. <laughs> Them said it's a Jamaican rice and peas, but it's a, a, a gungo peas, this. This is a gungo peas and rice. This is not Jamaican rice and peas. They need to switch that. This is, this is a gungo peas and rice. Yeah, so them need to call it what it is. Yeah? That's not Jamaican rice and peas. So we have got to tell the chef, say them have the wrong thing. Them can't call that Jamaican rice and peas. You see them have different stuff, you know. Italian food over this side. Fish. And all of this is weighed out. All of this you buy it by the weight. Yeah? You know, over here is a host of soups, ton of soups, and and I mean you can you can you can you definitely can find a way to you know eat something and be comfortable at Whole Foods if you come here. So one of the nicer stuff them where them have this cornbread, see the best of cornbread. May I tell you, cornbread they nice, but. Yeah, and 
different soups. I mean, I, there's there's white bean prosciutto soup, chicken Florentine soup, but chicken and dumpling, chicken chili. These are the different type of soups for them. Up. See, minstrel. I mean, I can't explain the amount of soup over there. I say I can talk up to one of them people here and ask them about it. The different, different things for them. Up. Hi, Frank. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I was. I was. I, I have an inquiry. Give me one second. Yeah. Let's yeah, see if we can ask Frank something. So maybe we'll see if Frank can answer the question. Yes, sir. Yeah, I noticed you had this as Jamaican rice and peas. Okay. That's what your chef said it is. Uh, that's what the menu says it is. Okay. I'm Jamaican. Okay. That's not Jamaican rice and peas. You know what? We have this all the time. People come in and say. Hey, this is my country, and that's not it. <laughs> Let me tell you what this is. It's called, in Jamaica, it's called gungu, uh -huh. gungu rice, all right? Gungu rice. Now, that's pigeon peas. Uh -huh. Jamaican rice and peas is with red kidney beans. Okay. And it's flavored so much so that the, the, the peas, the beans, cause the whole entire rice to go red. Red. So once the Jamaicans come in and see that and see this name here, they're gonna say, "Yeah, uh, they're gonna wrong, be mad. wrong name." <laughs> yeah, man. I'm just messing with you. We don't, we don't. Unfortunately, here they don't have you know any flexibility to change names or oh, recipes. so they ha and they have to use the recipes. This is the way it comes. I'm a, this is the name. I'm gonna write them. Yeah, I'm gonna write whole things. I promise Absolutely. you. Write the regional office in Florida. Yeah. That's what comes. I'm I'm blogging right now to Jamaica. Yeah. They're gonna be mad. Like I said, I hear this all day long. I hear this all day. Long. All right, Frank. Have a good day, man. Yeah, man. Thanks, All right, cool. Yeah. So, see, let's go check it out and make sure, say, the regional office get the full story. Yeah. Cause them can I, I call gungo peas, um, gungo rice and peas, Jamaican rice and peas. Them have to, them have to know them thing. I mean, mark your gungo or our thing too. But the two different dish them, you know. Me not be anal, but we we'll talk about the things them. All right, so. This is my little trip to Whole Foods. As I said, there's so much more that I could show you guys. You know, um, the, all the organic stuff. But I, I prefer doing the, the fresh food. And this is um, their pastry section as well. I got a, a bunch of stuff. Um, not too much. You know, but I'm going to tell you, so the price in here is so different. You don't want to spend when I have for no reason at all. You see? So... I'm gonna get some stuff and I'm gonna go check out now. You know? Look on this. Look on this, folks. This is what they call yuca bread. Cassava bread, this, you know? Cassava bread. This is $4 for, that, for this. So basically, one, one of them is $4. Yeah, I don't know how, how feasible that is to buy that. You know, should them have some little rolls in here, so sweetness, sweetness. May I try to avoid the sweetness? I'm gonna eat that. A whole bunch of stuff them have, you know. And if you're interested, them have whole lot of health, health things too. A whole lot of healthy stuff. See, chia seed and flax seed and different seeds. That are all foods overall experience is pleasant what they have also here is soaps handmade soap you know the overall experience is pleasant but as I said the prices you have to really and truly work with the price you know the price them that are expensive um, stuff like even the coconut water right there I mean it's like five dollars for the, the coconut water. Look at that. This five dollars. Five dollars. Yeah, I mean that in itself is like way expensive. You know. I mean, I mean that's just my opinion. Some things are good. Some things. Sorry. Some things are good. Some things are expensive. You have to know where you want to buy and how to buy it. You know. Um, so, but as I tell you, if you, if you come here, prepare for, for be specific in your purchasing. And uh, from this, you will know what you want and how to get it. Yeah? Whole food thing. So, that's
that that was my little trip to Whole Foods, and the the stuff definitely come up to well, about nine dollar, ten dollar. I mean, I consider that bad. I get two iced tea, the piece of cheese, and the the cornbread. Yeah, and that was ten dollar. That not bad, but it you know I mean if you if you definitely wanted to buy more stuff, then you'd have to pay more more money, obviously. So yeah, I recommend it for the health wise, but definitely you have to check your prices at all times.